Here is a frugal seismometer prototype. On the left end, it uses a common computer mouse as a sensor. The mouse has been modified by removing the plastic lens it had and by disabling the red LED light inside it. And of course, taking out a power supply cord to power an ordinary la red laser, uh, which is attached at the other end of the device. The laser pointer is rigidly fixed to the body as well as the mouse so that it directly illuminates the mouse CCD sensor inside through the white tube. There is a one foot long plastic scale on the top. It is rigidly fixed on one end using a shaving blade which has been glued to the plastic PVC pipe. The other, uh, the long cantilever results in a very low natural frequency as well as results in a mechanical amplification of seismic signals. The cantilever has an inertial weight attached to it with some nut bolts. When the PVC body vibrates due to any seismic waves, there is a delay in the, in the vibrations driving the scale because of the non-rigid blade coupling between the cantilever as well as the body. This relative motion is captured by a seismic uh, measurement system. The seismic uh, system measurement system contains an optical computer mouse on one end and a cheap laser on the other end. The path of the laser is actually passing through a translucent piece of plastic made out of a roughened old computer CD piece. This has been glued to the cantilever, the free end of the cantilever arm. When laser shines on this piece of rough translucent plastic, the many rough features on the plastic surface act as monochromatic coherent light sources. These millions of light sources interfere on any screen that inter interfaces with this beam. And something called speckle interference pattern is a result. These patterns are basically random bright and dark spots on a surface uh, that, that just shows where the waves have added up or uh, added up um, constructively or destructively. When projected on a piece of paper, this speckle pattern is clearly visible. This speckle pattern creates enough roughness for the mouse sensor to register variations in the pattern when the cantilever moves. One additional thing we have done is amplified this speckles interferometry pattern by adding a fold scope ball lens in the pathway. The long distance between the lens and the mouse sensor creates a further significant amplification. The focus, to focus this lens, we have added a small screw which, if turned, presses against the lens holder and moves it slightly towards or away from the roughened plastic piece, the translucent CD piece. One important component of a layman or a garden seismometer, which is this design, is a dampener. If the dampener is not present, the cantilever will oscillate at its natural frequency and therefore might miss newer seismic signals. The dampener is made out of a piece of aluminium which is rigidly fixed onto the free end of the cantilever. A magnet is placed at the end of the screw which in such a way that the distance between the magnet and the aluminium piece can be adjusted. When the cantilever vibrates, eddy currents are produced in the aluminium piece due to the presence of a magnet and that dissipates the vibrations. So it basically stops the uh, free vibrations of the cantilever.